Hello, this is Tamas uh, for the assembly video of the mouse trap. I tried to minimize the 3D printed parts in the design and also the size of the parts. Just use things around the house like bucket and a piece of wood. You don't need too much to build this thing, so let's print. After the printing is done, let's start the assembly uh, with the flap. I supplied these templates that you can cut out and then use them in the assembly. These are important because it's not a circular shape, it's kind of a weird shape to enable the flap, flap in to the bucket. I just use cardboard for the flaps, but you can also use some corn flute plastic or, or other material to make it weatherproof. All done. Then just perforating the cardboard and mounting the hinge pieces. M3 bolts and nuts. When it's done, I mark the center uh, on the cardboard and mark over the bucket I'm using. Then I came up with the idea, I struggled a bit here, to tape the hinge part going on the bucket and then using a light to mark the spots where I need to drill the holes. So I mount the one side hinge and the other side too after. Then you can just bend the flap in and try it in. Next is the bait plate. Just easily marking the bait plate mount holes, putting it in and again use using two screws to lock it in. It's easy. Now we have the cantilever weight housing and I use just small screws or metal pieces to give a weight on that. This is also moving around so you can rotate to fine tune and align it to the best position. Next is the ramp where the mice can come up. Again two 3D printed parts. M3 bolts and nuts. Marking the holes, drill them out and mount. And voila! Now adjusting the arm and then locking it in with an additional screw. All done. It's pretty easy to just to get this mounted the ramp and the bait plate and lift up the bucket and bring out to empty the content. 
finally, a little test. This is published on Thingiverse. You can find the link in the video description.